Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Today is Sunday, August 13th, 2023. In the last 24 hours, there's been three earthquakes off the coast of Northern California, the largest being a magnitude 3.8. What we have going on is the subduction uh, going underneath the North American plate, the Cascadia subduction zone. People really need to be prepared for a disaster uh, for the uh, rupture of the Cascadia subduction zone. Government officials don't care if you prepare or not. They're not going to come and save your butts. They're going to willy-nilly and take their time to come in and rescue people. I don't know if you've been keeping up with what's going on there in Maui. Uh, it's been really hard for people to get food, water, gasoline. Uh, you can look at past events here. Um, I think of Hurricane Katrina, how people waited for a month before help arrived and what happened yeah the National Guard came in and they went door to door and uh, taking people's weapons often when there's a large disaster uh, people become unhinged and they start looting and rioting and grabbing what they can going into homes and people's businesses grabbing what they need and also what they don't need so if you are one of the um, small minority of people that has prepared for a disaster. Uh, yeah, you have a chance that you could lose your things to uh, rioters. And you would want some way to protect what you have prepared to keep what you got. So you d definitely don't want someone coming in, taking your weapons so you, can't so you can't protect what you have. I don't know if it's still the case, but there in Maui, uh, there's basically um, only one road in and one road out. And people that were leaving the area to go out and get food, water, uh, whatever they might need, oxygen, medical supplies, people were told that they would not be allowed to return. So that would be another reason to be prepared. Another thing that's going on there in Maui, uh, that is an area compared to other areas where the majority of the population do not have cars. Maybe they figured that because... Uh, there were so many stores close by that they didn't have to worry about traveling anywhere to uh, do their shopping. Many older populations don't have cars. They depend upon uh, public transportation or maybe Uber or friends and family to take them shopping. So something to think about if there is uh, a martial law declared. Uh, yeah, are you going to be able to get an Uber? Uh, public transportation probably wouldn't be running and they wouldn't allow someone from outside the area because those that they are letting in have to prove that they live there to take their mother, their grandmother, their grandfather shopping. The most recent and largest earthquake was a magnitude 3.8, a little more than 14 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured in sea level. 522 people said they felt this earthquake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. Here's the area that USGS did report that people sent in their reports. I don't think they post all the reports of the felt earthquakes. Um, here we got an intensity level of 4 from Corbell. Uh, let's go closer. Intensity level 3 from Trinidad. Intensity level three, uh, three, let's go down. Looks like the farthest was Ferndale, intensity level two. On EMSC, uh, there was several reports sent in to them. One here from McKinleyville says two large jolts with a rumble after about 15 seconds total. Another one said their pups woke them up with a startle just before the jolts. Yeah, dogs and cats often react before earthquakes telling us that something's coming. Another one from the same area, a tremble a bit like a huge clap of thunder. 
another one said it woke them up from the same area uh eureka said they felt a solid jolt that rattled the house another one said a quick jolt arcadia said it woke uh <laughs> woke me the heck up and then another one said that their pipes were rattling so if the cascadia subduction zone ruptures again with a major um fault movement it was i believe back in 1700 a magnitude nine the last large earthquake they had along the cascadia subduction zone was 300 years ago there has been 13 mega thrust events that have been identified in the last 6,000 years an average of one every 500 to 600 years however they have not happened regularly some have been as close as 200 years and some has been have been apart um, as much as 800 years so they could be larger have a mega thrust earthquake there along the cascadia subduction zone larger than a magnitude 9 and earthquake canada gives some examples such as uh let's see chile in 1960 they had a 9.5 the one in alaska i believe that was on good friday uh, 1964 was a magnitude 9.2 before the magnitude 3.8 earthquake there was a 1.8 by ferndale a uh, 9.8 miles in depth and petrolia uh, a magnitude 2.1 back on i believe uh, december 20th of last year there was a magnitude 6.4 off the coast there by ferndale uh, two people died um, from that earthquake there was 17 people injured because of that earthquake i think many of you will remember all the damage that ferndale had you know from that earthquake you can do a google search for um, images the two people that died indirectly um, it was because ambulances couldn't reach them um, in time to save their lives remember when the bridges collapsed yeah and there was no access um yeah it was bad yeah just do a google search i did report that back then there was over 250 aftershocks there was gas leaks you have to worry about gas leaks and explosions look what happened in pennsylvania yesterday I believe it's an area that they used to have coal mines. They have had over six gas explosions in the town of Plum in recent years. Yeah, six. This 6.4 was caused, um, what they figure, by the Gorda Plate subducting underneath the North American Plate. But you can see here how close it is uh, to the Cascadia subduction zone. Large earthquakes can also uh caused the eruption of volcanoes we got um mount lassen volcano over here and do i have the other ones marked on here i don't know no it doesn't look like that when the cascadia subduction zone ruptured back in 1700 the ground dropped by about six feet and there was 100 feet of movement to the west that's because of all the pressure that had built up with the mountain building um, on the North American plate. It suddenly was released and yeah, the land suddenly moved west by 100 feet. Another example why you need to have things bolted to the walls. Your hot water heaters, your bookshelves, refrigerators, anything that can injure people when suddenly they decide, the object decides to move about 100 feet bam scientists believe too that if the rupture happened during the summer there would be a lot more deaths because of all the tourists that go to the west coast you know to enjoy the beach and you know going to shops and things like that yeah basically the whole west coast would be toast everything west of the interstate yeah would be devastated and cut off this is why you need food water medical supplies don't forget the pets yeah 3.8 right there 
So did you feel any of these three earthquakes? The other two, they're saying that it wasn't felt. Um, the 3.8 was felt over a large area. How did your animals react prior to this? Have they been on edge? Please get prepared. Yeah, people are so used to free handouts. Well, when a mega disaster happens, yeah, there ain't going to be... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you're foolish to think the government's going to continue to help those people thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing as always please be prepared please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you